channel 33 RPM. Today I'm nerding out. I'm going to show you how I use Excel spreadsheets to keep my record collection in order. Nerd. <laughs> nerd. Nerd. Be right back. Channel 33 RPM. Hey guys, my name is Frank. It's Sunday. That means it's time for an all new episode. A few months ago, I did a video with tips on storing and displaying records. In that video, I mentioned in passing that I use an Excel spreadsheet to help keep my record collection in order. This past week, I got a question about that video from viewer Sean McMillan. And Sean wrote, when you make your Excel spreadsheet, what sort of information about the record do you include? Good question, Sean. Check it out. Okay, I'm at my computer. I started using Excel out of necessity. There's no way I can remember every single record I have on my shelves, and certainly there's no way I can remember each particular pressing I have, which can be important. So when I got to around three or 400 records, I realized I needed a system to help catalog this collection. One option is Discogs, which lets you list the records you have in your collection. You can access this information from your computer or on your mobile device. Discogs also provides an estimated value of your collection. That's a pretty cool feature, but I still prefer the DIY approach. That's how I roll. I'll show you exactly what my spreadsheet looks like. Okay, here's a close-up. You can see my categories uh, along the top here. We have artist, title, year, genre, country, condition, the price I paid, the category number, the label, and notes, any notes I have uh, about the record. So we can scroll down here and we can see, you know, uh, for example, some, in some parts the label is missing and that's because I only added that category later. I'm gonna have to go back and update that. Same with the category number. So I list them all alphabetically by artist and then the year it was released. So of course the top is Lee Aaron, uh, ABBA, pretend you never saw that, uh, in ACDC. He goes along, Aerosmith, Anthrax, Black Sabbath, Bowie, uh, Alice Cooper, and on and on and on. This is an easy way here to see exactly what you know, I have uh, in my collection at a glance. And the um, category number is so important, I think, because that way you know which pressing you have on that, and that's supplemented by the notes. So Alice Cooper for Britain only, it's an EP, came out in 1982, it's rock, this is a UK pressing, uh, condition is excellent, excellent, so that's both the sleeve and the record itself. I paid seven bucks for that one, it's the category number, and a little note to myself, it's a three track EP with the Alice Cooper order form. So I have a lot of priests in my collection, um, you know, I'm a big fan of these guys, and looking at this I realize how many multiple copies I have of certain records. So if you look at Screaming for Vengeance, I got four copies of that, British Steel. But you now I can look at this and figure out how much I paid, the condition, I see it all, uh, you know, at a glance. Same with Kiss, I got some various Kiss ones. Unmasked, how many copies of Unmasked do I have? I have one, two, five copies of Unmasked. But you know, they're all different. I got USA, Holland, Germany, Canada, uh, another USA, with, again with all the notes, how much I paid or whether I traded for them. Quick note, remember to back up your spreadsheet in the event something happens to your computer or worse. I regularly email copies of my record database to myself, to my Gmail or whatever, so there's always a copy somewhere out there in the cloud. Also, one other thing about this is that this sort of information may be useful if you ever have to make an insurance claim. Check though with your insurance company to see what kind of info they would need and then consider including that in your spreadsheet as well. Let me know what you thought of today's video in the comments below. Do you catalog your collection? What method do you use? What categories do you use? I'd love to hear from you. Remember, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a quick like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, 
What are you waiting for? Join the community. Click that subscribe button and you'll never miss another episode again. Thank you, as always, for your ongoing support. Until next time, Vinyl Friends, keep on spinning.